Hi everybody, this is Lars from CatCamStuff.com. Let's do three quick HSM works tips. And this is revision number five, what means that uh, there's four videos before this. So if you are interested in uh, in checking those out, uh, you know, either uh, subscribe on YouTube, search there, or um, if you are on the blog and you go over to the right, you will see that there's an HSM works category. You will find the other ones in there. So uh, I think these are three really good HSM works tips coming up. So um, hey, Let's jump into it. So we have this pretty cool SOLIDWORKS assembly here, uh, double vices. So you have operation, uh, you know, one and flip it over operation two. Now, normally when we program inside of HSM works, we might go over to the cam manager here and go into the job. And I got a new mouse here that I'm trying to adjust to. So sorry that things are moving around a little. Uh, but when you go into the job in here, you can select the model, you're going to machine, and this is an assembly. So there's multiple parts. And then you get that little 3D gnomon. Uh, that you can then control the directions of uh, right inside of the work coordinate system dialog box. However, um, this uh, many times don't really do it. So the other option is to go up to the utilities here and there is a work coordinate system. Now this work coordinate system, the developers just took that from the SOLIDWORKS side of things because over here on the reference uh, geometry, you will actually see that we have that same coordinate system. That's really just the same one. Now, the way the coordinate system works is it is looking for a point. Now, uh, sometimes we don't have that point. Well, in my case here, I actually have uh, a couple of hole wizard holes that was used right where I want to pick my, my point here. And here we go again, something like that. Now, here's a little trick. Uh, many people will go in and then start a sketch and set in a point. But you can actually just go and expand out the uh, the hole wizard hole if it's right in that location, and then hit the little um, glasses, and now you can actually pick that. So that's a little trick here that you can actually go into a hole wizard hole that will place a point where the hole is located. Now you can actually use that for your work coordinate system. Just you know, it's okay to be lazy when you're working in here. Another trick is after I set this one in is you can actually also just right click and hit recent command and there it is again. So you don't have to travel all the way up to the uh, command manager to do that. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the second setup. So a very quick way to insert these uh, work coordinate systems that we now can use inside of the job. Actually, when I, when I go into the job now, uh, HSMworks is smart enough to know that uh, there is a work coordinate system in the file and it will automatically call them up. So now you can click and you can select which one you want. So I want the one to the left here, so I can just select that. And now I'm actually um, ready to, to program that. That will be my work coordinate system from that uh, uh, area there. So this is extremely powerful uh, to control where you're picking up your part. Um, I, I favor to use work corner system whenever I can. Now, the second tip I want to show you is that if I now go in and maybe apply some tool paths to this part, so we can see that the, the first part and the second part uh, there in, in this vise, in this double-sided vise, are the identical parts. So if I just go in and select uh, these three pockets to machine, um, actually, what I want to do is I want also want to have the same um, pockets machine on the part uh, up, you know, right above it, um, and that's like a mirror. Well, inside of HSM works, you can actually, if you go and you right click on that operation, you can actually go in and you can create a pattern of that operation. Now, uh, when you go in and you look at the pattern options, so you right click on the operation, you scroll down, you will see make pattern. You have some different options. There's linear patterns in there, circular patterns. There's also mirror, but I want to show you the component pattern because what is neat about that one is that when I select the seeded parts so of the one we want to use, um, now we have auto select instances, so it's actually smart enough to pick it up. But if I just turn that off, you will actually be able to select the identical part uh, in this, uh, how many you have. And in that way, we have actually now created a complete copy uh, of the first, uh, from the first one to the second part. This can be extremely, you know, efficient from time, right? Because you only have now three faces we selected for the part and we can do that. The last tip I think is really cool. 
Uh, this goes back to sometimes, you know, sometimes we got to work with the basics when we're working inside of, of machining. So I open up the part and, you know, sometimes you you want to machine the same part maybe in multiple vices, for example. So I just want to do the same operation in, in, in three different vices out of my machine. I just put them up on, on the machining table. Now... What we normally will do is we will use our work offset for this, right? So we will go in and we will create um, a, a program and then we will just change the work coordinate system. Well, we can actually do that right inside of HSM Works. If I go back into our job setup and I scroll down to the bottom, you will actually see that down here there is a post processing area. And in here there's something called work offset. Now, if you're just using a standard FANUC work offset, then number one will be a G54. But if I check the multiple uh, work coordinates offset, I can actually set how many I want. So in my case here, I might want three of these. And then the, the, the option underneath is the instances. So by putting three, I now have a G54 for my first one. I have a G55 for my second one, and G56 for my for my third one. So when I hit OK to that, if I go on a post process, and I'm just using the generic uh, FANUC uh, post, so it, it's controlled by the post, but of course, uh, Autodesk CAM um, will do your post processing for you, so you don't really have to worry about it if you have another post where you need this option in it. It's just to, to ping them on the, the cam.autodesk forum but when i hit the post button now the software is smart enough that it will take the one program but it will copy it three times with um three different uh work offsets so if i go in here and search so we got g54 right there if i go to search g55 you will see that there's the g55 if we're going to do g56 we will see that there is g56 um, another way we could do this is, of course, using the backplot uh, option right inside of uh, HSM Works uh, to kind of like demonstrate the same thing, that it's running through um, the same program three times and only changing the G54 just from doing that inside of the job setup. Again, you know, this is kind of like, I think it's a little old school, you, you know, uh, you just want to machine the same part and three different devices out of the table. You really don't want to go through, you know, all the fanciness. You just want to program it and control it. So there you can see there's the G54. Hey, man, I hope that you found this uh, free quick tips um, helpful. And, um, you know, uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can always email me at Lars at CatCamStuff.com. Until the next time, have an awesome day and I'll talk to you soon.